Hello, everyone. He is risen. He is. Welcome to Gaming Scripture and Commentary. Christian gamers talking about Jesus through his word. Comment on anything that happens to come up and play the game. This is Upstairs Champions Online. And welcome to episode 144. Today, we are in Genesis 24, 1 through 61, with the story of Rebecca becoming Isaac's bride. We also will talk about where Isaac was after God told Abraham not to sacrifice Isaac. We'll see what's happened there. So, anyways, I am Ken Ikkanthan. It's my good friend Norman. Greetings. Oh, you are there, okay. Grace to you and peace from... What? Of... What? Come oh. here. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Each broadcast starts off with a prayer as you always want to make give this time to God and let his will be done and not ours. And there's no better way to do this than through prayer. After all, it is our one-to-one -one relationship communication device. Okay, So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for everything you do for us. Thank you for your creation, your love, your son, your forgiveness, your caring, your protection, your teaching. There is no one else we can go to. There is no hope for us outside of the resurrection of Jesus. Help folks watching this be blessed. Help those who are seeking to find and help those who have found to become better equipped and surround them with a community that will show them the way. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and in Jesus' great and glorious name we pray. Amen. All right. Man. What? It's like the delayed scene. Man. It's like you're delayed, you know? That's what, that's what seems like happening, okay? I'm like... I like you're gargling with rocks. Well, I was clear before, but now I'm gargling rocks? Well, at the moment, every now and then you come clear. So I'm mm -hmm. guessing that there's some skipping on my connection to the net. Interesting. All right. But well, that's a guess. How are you all watching this? You got your Bible or it's the old-fashioned kind, you know, the paper or the binding, or an app on your phone or tablet, or a website such as BibleGateway.com, Bible.com, or BlueLetterBible.com, or, hey, something else I may have not mentioned. We are reading from the New King James Version translation. And while you're looking it up, I want to remind everybody to, if you have any prayer requests, please post them here in Twitch or in the discussion area or whatever platform you are watching this video from. And if you don't want to pause, post it publicly, send me a private message. If you don't want us to see, uh, completely understand. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, sayings, tips, or whatever else you pleases you, not what I'm pleases you, but anyway, whatever you want to say, post them in chat or discussion or comment areas. If the content course is something you want to share or like, then hey, share and like and subscribe and check out whatever else we have on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Raptor, Tumblr, or something else. So, while you're doing that, I'll we'll get back to Isaac. We last saw him when his father Abraham was going to sacrifice him at God's behest. And, of course, God was testing Abraham, and uh, Abraham passed with flying colors. But Abraham also knew and believed that even if, he, if uh, Isaac was to die, uh, God could resurrect and so um, Norman said he would find we would, we would find out what happens to Isaac as we didn't go back he didn't go back home with Abraham. And we'll discuss more about that if we read, if we read about uh, Rebecca. Okay. So the bra a bride for Isaac. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. So Abraham said to his oldest servant of his house, who ruled over all he had. Please put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But you will go to my country and to my people, my family, and take a wife for my son Isaac. And the servant said to him, Perhaps the woman will not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I take your son back to the land from which you came? But Abraham said to him, Beware that you do not take my son back there. The Lord God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of, land of my family, and who spoke to me and swore to me, saying to the, to the descendants, I give this land, he will send his angel before you, and you will take a wife from my, from my son from there. And if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be released from, from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning this matter. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and departed, for all his master's goods were in his hand. And he arose and went to the Mesopotamia, to the city of Nahor. And he made his camels kneel down outside the city, by the well of a water at evening time, the time when women go out to draw water. Then he said, O God, O Lord God of my master Abraham, please give me success this day, and show kindness to my master Abraham. 
Behold, here I stand by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Now let that now let it be that the young woman who to whom I say, Please let down your pitcher that I may drink, and she says, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. Let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac, and by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. And it happened, before he had finished speaking, that behold, Rebekah, who was born in Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her pitcher on her shoulder. Now the young woman was very beautiful to behold, a virgin, a, a man, no man had known her, and she went down to the well, filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Please let me drink a little water from your pitcher. So she said, Drink, my lord. Then she quickly let her pitcher down to her, to her hand and gave him a drink. And when she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your cameras also until they have finished drinking. Then she quickly emptied her pitcher into the trough, ran back to the well, draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man, wondering, wondering, wondering at her, remained silent so as to not know whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. So it was when the camels had finished drinking that the man took a golden noose ring weighing half a shekel and two bracelets for her wrist weighing ten shekels of gold and said, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, please, is there room in your father's house for us to lodge? She said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, Milcah's son, whom she bore to Nahor. Moreover, said to him, We have both straw and feed enough and room to lodge. Then the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord, and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his mercy and has truth toward his my master. As for me, being on the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. So the young woman ran and told her mother's household these things. Now Rebekah had a brother whose name was Laban, and Laban ran out to the man by the well. So it came to pass, when he saw the nose ring and the bracelets on his sister's wrist, and when he heard the words of his sister Rebekah, saying, Thus the man spoke to me, that he went to the man, and there he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come on, come in, O blessed of the Lord, why do you stand outside? For I prepared the house and a place for the camels. Then the man came to the house, and he unloaded the camels, and provided straw and feed for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the feet of the men who were with him. Food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told you by my errand. And he said, Speak on. Now I'm going to skip the next part here, because I'll repeat what we already did, okay? Um, but before I finish speaking to my heart, there was Rebecca coming out of the well, okay? So that's, where we, that's why we get this point now. Now, if you will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me. And if not, tell me that I may return to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing comes from the Lord. We cannot speak to you, but either bad or good. Here's Rebekah before you. Take her and go, and let her be your master's son's wife, as the Lord has spoken. And it came to pass, when Abraham's servant heard the, their words, that he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. Then the servant brought the, out jewelry of silver, jewelry of gold and clothing, and gave them to Rebekah. She also gave, he also gave precious things to her brother and to her mother. And he and the man who were with them ate and drank and stayed all night. Then they rose in the morning, and he said, Send me away to my master. But her, brother said, and my, but her brother and her mother said, Let the young woman stay with us a few days, at least ten. After that she may go. And he said to them, Do not hinder me, since the Lord has prospered my way. Send me away so that I may go to my master. So they said, We will call the young woman and ask her personally. And they called Rebekah and, and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. And so they sent Rebekah away with her sis their sister and her nurse, and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them. Then Rebekah and her maids arose, and they rode on the camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rebekah and departed. The long story. You still there, Norman? Yep. So it's a, it's a, I'm still here. I skipped, although, although you were gargling. So I skipped a portion. On my side. I skipped the portion where they repeated it. I'm like, I mean, there's a lot of detail in this story. You know, a lot about the things that, that happened. You know, it's like, it's like, I mean, all of it makes you understand there's a big, bigger picture to the whole thing. But it's interesting how much there was in the details that they laid out here, you know, in, in Genesis. You'll notice at first the whole thing about holding someone's someone's leg, <laughs> putting your hand or someone's thigh must have been a custom for how you show. Uh, um, I, I, I think it has to do with trust, right? Wouldn't it be? 
if you actually held someone's leg at mm -hmm. that, then it shows that, that, that the servant or the master trusts the servant. And in this case, Abraham trusted the guy holding it. And of course, the guy was like holding his leg because if basically he could easily throw him over, he could, you know, could turn him around and I mean, toss him up. You know, I don't know. But also, he was an old man. What I also thought was interesting is that he basically said, don't take my son with you. I mean, so, I mean, we saw that uh, that Abraham went home by himself, but here Abraham saying, don't take my son with you. Doesn't that imply it just that, shows that, that he's here? Yeah, Isaac's there. Okay, but what did Isaac the, go the, if it's in... The, the thing is, he's been just edited out right. of the story. Right. I, I believe, as along with some other people, that the Holy Spirit has edited him out. Since the sacrifice of him was the sacrifice of uh, Abraham's son, Isaac, is a model of God sending Christ down right. and, uh, and sacrificing him for our good. True. Yeah. Well, where is Christ after the sacri uh, sacrifice? Well, he after 40, 40 days, he ascended to heaven. While the while the bride is being collected, who's collecting the bride? It's the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, so Isaac is edited out just as Christ is in heaven, awaiting the time to come and get us. Okay, I get the parallel there, but I guess where is Isaac right now then? He's in the camp with his father. Okay, so he did go. He didn't go home with them directly, but he he did go home with. Yes, them. he did. Oh, he went home with him. But it's not mentioned. He just was edited out. Wow. So it fits. You know, Christ returned to heaven, and the Holy Spirit came to gather the bride, the church. So the idea of now the Isaac... problem, yeah, the problem I I have at the moment is I'm still looking up for the servant's name. In the sermon I heard uh, by what's his name, Chuck M Minsler, Messler, yeah. how do you pronounce his last name? Um, he said the name. I haven't yeah. been able to find where he got that yeah, yet, well, so I have to go find the tradition. Then, because huh? see, it's not in the Old Testament. Right. But it could be so a it's either or like a, in the Jewish text, you know? Yes. So I'm going to have to go find the Chuck Minsler one again and listen to it and see if he says. Because the name that he has translates... Um, oh, gosh. I'm going to have to look it up again. I'm too old to remember. <laughs> um, but it's basically servant. So the it's basically the Holy Spirit is what the name translates to. And the position he held, most trusted servant, was if um, if Isaac had not been born, he would have inherited. Oh. That's how close he was. Well, that was mentioned earlier, right? Before even Ishmael came along. He's, he's, Abraham was saying about, you know, his, his basic, his, her person who's going to inherit all his stuff is his, his main servant. Yeah, his main servant gets it if. Oh, that's where it was made. If there is no son. Yeah. Well, I'll have to go check there. Oh, so, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, actually, yeah, I, because so in other words, Abraham. I mean, um, oh. Isaac didn't go away. He was just there. He just wasn't in the text because we we're trying to parallel more of what's going on between Christ or how Christ collects the church and the bride, and then becomes get married. So. Where Isaac marries Rebecca is kind of like the fact that Jesus married the church. Yes, and when, which we haven't gotten to yet, but when he brings in, uh, Rebecca to Isaac, they basically do the Jewish uh, quick marriage. Yeah. He, he takes her into the tent and they're married. So that's basically the same thing that's going to happen when. Uh, the Holy Spirit brings the church up to heaven. We the marriage supper of the Lamb occurs. 
You know, so it's just I thought it was interesting because it's more when I was young, I just understood this is God saying, see, this is what I'm going to do and and it shows a um a faith situation. Yeah, okay. No, Abraham had no had no problem sacrificing his son because God had promised to him that through this son, you know, all of his descendants were going to come. So, so when he went up there, he knew he was coming back down with Isaac. So, um, ah. yeah, okay. I mean, Followed by my cat. I just hope. I just hope that it's, I mean, people aren't adding more to it. I mean, I get the, we all we always know, and you can see the parallel between um, what. Uh, the what God did with Abraham and Isaac, and about what G God did with His Son Jesus Christ. Okay, we we understand that that's a parallel, yes. right? But how about adding more to this? You know, adding more to the uh, story just because they wanted to find more fleshing it out. You know, check it out yourself. Where was he? He went up with his son. Isaac was named while he went up. After the sacrifice occurred. He comes down in Isaac's name is not there. He didn't wait up there. He returned. So in Genesis 15, um, God's talking to Abraham. Abraham said, Lord God, you, what will you give me? See, I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eleazar, Eleazar of Damascus. There you go. There's the and name. Eleazar means in Hebrew, my God is help. According to one place, you know. My God, Who is the helper? Place. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Wow, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah. That's anybody's, basically. Anybody got anything they want to add to the commentary? This is great. You know, this is, a, again, iron shepherd's iron. We learn more about things and what God is trying to show us in the Bible. It's also a reminder how much that you see that the, the Old Testament is a, is a loop, not blueprint, but... Jesus Christ is all through there. It's a, it's a foretelling of what is coming for us from, from God. Yep. Okay. Christ also said <clears throat> that the Old Testament is just, it talks about him. Yep. It's all these. There you go. And, yeah, that's why, yep, yep yeah, he's everywhere. That's why, yeah, that's why I'm always having a difficult time understanding how current Jews don't understand that. Why they don't see, you know, they know the Messiah is coming, but why they couldn't recognize the Messiah had come. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go get some more. Christ said they were left; they were made blind because they didn't acknowledge him when he came. They didn't know the date of of his arrival, although <coughs> he hit the date dead on from what. Uh, Gosh, my memory's going bad. Oh, what is his name? Went in the lion's den. David, I mean Daniel. Thank you. Because I thought David too, and I knew David wasn't it, and I couldn't get my brain to go to another one. But Daniel gave the date. Oh, yeah, if you do the math, yeah. he hit it. His triumphant entrance. We're expecting a different type of of Christ. They were they were expecting the uh, conqueror, not the suffering servant. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, yeah. Well, go ahead. No, I, so I haven't I haven't chatted with my you know, my uh, kids yet about just creating a character. Guild. <laughs> that way, then we can actually be in any character and talk in super group, you know. Yep. Let's go get some more gems. Now, where are we going? Gems. I got 14 out of 20. Oh, I got 13 out of 20. Oh, the arrow. Okay. Damn. Yeah. I thought I was behind you, and all of a sudden now I'm ahead of you. What? You're behind me. Now I'm behind you again. That was a 
I lost you for a bit. I like going after them, jewels. They're just way too heavily protected. And the guys respond to too fast. Okay, I lost where you are. I found you. Ah, you're coming toward me. He went over there, okay. That base? Okay. Did you say, like, alright, I'm gonna attack now? Well, you were there with me. I thought you'd understand when I start shooting. Babies are dead. <laughs> we still got people after us? Yep. No, grab the jewels. <laughs> grab the jewels. Those coppers. Grab the jewels and run. Those coppers can't get us. Now up to 17. Yeah, the jewels are in here. Oh, there's one. Underneath the platform. What? There's one underneath the oh, platform. Yeah. At 17. Oof! Hit my head on the platform. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna find a place with some more jewels without many people around it. Oh, here's one. I wonder if I can sneak in there and grab that one. That's good. Enchant. On the air side, also looking. No. I don't see one to get one, but well, there is one up there. Up here. Over there. I just don't know if, if we get too close, we might trigger some bad guys coming after no, us. I don't know. It's, that's... I can't get. But well, this one's not active. I think I got it before. At least not for me. Only well, not for me. I think we got it before. We uh, attacked that this tower. Right? I'm at. What's the grand total here? Eighteen. One between the purple things. Purple things. Oh, over there. Oh, over there. Oh, but there's somebody there. Oh, well, yeah. There's some guards. We're gonna have to fight somebody sooner or later to get more. Have you targeted? Have it. Just let me know when you're gonna attack. I'm going in for the attack. Hold me in. Oh man, I'm losing all my my dudes. Robot or something just died. I 
Yes. Okay. I am done with this one. Eighteen. There was more than one here. I guess not. Well, I never saw more than one. This one rejeffed. Nope. What are these things are non regenerating? Well, yeah. Dang. There you are. I have to bring in some more. So my guys are, most of my guys are dead. Let's oh, see, wait. healer. I'll miss everyone. <laughs> Son of a gun. Well, what? That's how you survive. You know, all your pets die, and I survived. Uh, I don't think that my rock guy is here. On Prime Day item. It was a health drink that was on sale. Uh, I was looking for a monitor. You know, but you had a health drink? They had some monitors on, on sale, but they weren't really what I cared about. So I'm like, yeah. And Prime Day's over at midnight. So. Okay, well, let's see here. Where do we go and kill somebody? Where are you at? There you are. Down there. Back, 20. Let's head back to the base. Alright, nice job. Alrighty. <sighs> I, um, you know, God impressed by me. I mean, I've been, I pray for different people. And I was in a, a meeting, I pray for my bosses. And I was in a meeting. And I felt God saying, you know, why aren't you trying to be a godly man to this guy? I mean, I mean why are you like just like in a, in a non-verbal way being close to him and not helping him out and whatever, right? Like, huh. so like, okay, so. Oh, why were you? So I started to do a little different approach, right? And one of which I also was, I, would, I kind of used my position as a lead. I saw my boss tends to respect engineers more than he respects his employees. His first time management, he's a senior senior manager. And it's like, um, so I decided to do that too, and it's worked out rather well. I mean, I, you know, Good. I also went in one time, I, um, I went in, oh, sorry. I went in and even uh, applauded him for us, and he, he did. You know, I thanked him. You know, that's y'all should do that. You should thank people when they do something right. You know, and applaud them when they do something good. We got here. It's always a good thing to do. Yes. He's here. He's both here. Right. So we're gonna do this one next. Defeat destroids. Well, it's here. Right here. I don't know. Which one are you looking at? What's that? Oh, it's over there. Way on the edge. Okay. Ready to go? I fly the edge of the map over here. Okay, I'm just clearing out the uh, quest tonight that I got so Ooh. that I don't get past, past the maximum. <laughs> so that thought was interesting, you know, you know, how God was saying basically, you know, it's like, it's great, you're praying for them, great. But what are you doing also to uh, be an influence, you know? What are you doing to actually be uh, a force for good, you might say? Or try to, I mean, not be perfect, right? doesn't mean I won't, won't have some problems along the way. 
I'm like, okay, so, yeah. Talk nice. about it being managers. Well, a, that would be a good thing. Behaving in a way that is more, I mean, so, I mean, it's like me acting in a way. So I'm praying for, I'm praying for these guys, but am I actually doing something myself? Not saying that I can do anything to uh, bring someone to faith. I mean, obviously only the Holy Spirit can do that, but it's the idea of what are you doing than just praying. I mean, I know God says prayer is good at times, is, is, is great, and you should never stop praying. What happened? Hit the ground. Hit the ground. I don't know. You must have flown into something. No, I didn't. I am with you. Where are you? Oh, there's some invisible things attacking. Yeah, I'm heading toward this, this, this blue thing, and all of a sudden, like, what? What's going on? Oh, my pets. There's are... a whole bunch of little guys. Yeah. Okay. I'm not seeing them. That's why. With claws. Huh. Wow. Okay. That's different. Okay. Where are we supposed to go? Is oh, map? look. There's a big thing. Ooh, that's a big nasty thing. It's a colossus. Supposed to Are we supposed to take out a nightmare no. colossus? Is it on your, should be on your top of your list there, right? Defeat destroys thirty of them, and then defeat annihilator bot six of them. Okay, well, that's not an annihilator box. That was a colossus. No, we're not there yet. We're in this area here. Now. I see him. The blue area that has. There's even like big uh, circles in the cave. Oh crap. Yeah. What the hell was that? Right there. I don't know, you went flying past me. There's no one there. Oh, I'm dead. I was like, nothing's there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of things there. I just got shredded by them. I didn't see anything there. The sooner we overcome, we've got more problems. And the sooner we overcome this threat. Well, let's look around here. There's trucks. And bad guys. How bad are those bad guys? Nine thousand seven hundred and seventy-four hit points. And that guy is fifteen thousand nine hundred sixty-three. And the little guys are two. Th wow, they are all huge. <laughs> well, it's a two -man. Ah. Annihilator bots. Warrior of Asaya. You probably know of the Destroids, mechanical minions created by the supervillain known as Dr. Destroyer. Shadow Destroyer usurped control of the Destroid factories and are using them to create an army to enforce his rule. We can't let them keep a mass in a stubble force. Head to Terminus Base and take out the Destroids gathering there. Yeah. Command team size. They're nasty. You kicked our butts. What is that thing? Are you so dead? Oh, Sawtooth. Must oh be a God. villain. Fight really high. Okay, well, I gotta go restore myself, so... Back to the... base. How many stars you got left? I don't know. I see one out there, at least. Hello, Ken. Yes, I'm here. What? Yes, I'm hello. Well, you were dead for a while. I asked a couple of questions. Either you're ignoring, or you, you can't asked hear. You how many stars. I said I see at least one. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Recharge your stars. Your combat level goes down when you don't have your just stars. Charged. 
Police Archer I have. How many stars should I have? Hello? Five. This is a full charge. Closed area. What shot me out of the sky? Is there some kind of over here? Come over here. Gee, where I am. Base? Over here, where I am. Okay. And look the direction I'm looking. Right on the ground, there are some dudes. I mean, I'm being target. targeted. Yeah, there he goes. They're targeted. being targeted. Targeted. Well, start targeting back. Well, I don't know what I'm targeting from. Oh, there you are. You're on the wall. Well, now, because there's some guys in here. Shadow snipers. Okay. Those are the guys who were targeting us. Oh. Who are you shooting at now? What is this story? Why are you leaving the building? Well, fighting down here. The chaos imp is beating on my guys. ahead of us is a small group of guys. Uh, there isn't an annihilator there, but Two can... nope, there is one. You to attack? You gonna attack? Okay, go ahead. Maybe targeted. Go. fact that they can knock me flying. Okay. Alright, so we got. Oh, what's our. We got five and one. one. Yeah. Okay. Those. Okay. Slowly. There's another group over there, but I think we need to take these guys out in the tower first. Oh. Oops. Keeps us from getting shot in the back. Right. Oh. 
you know, the annihilator. Me? They're hitting hard. Okay. Oh, somebody just dropped. All right, we are now at ten. What's two. our score now? Ten and two. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go count my dudes. <clears throat> so one, two, two, three, four, five, six. I need you. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, get here. Two. The problem with fighting these androids. One, two. Three, four, five, six. What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. No, I got them all. Okay. <coughs> Pick up my reward. And right in front of us is another group. And hopefully this will not get the other group to come here too. Oh. We accidentally suckered another group in. We have twice as many people as we wanted. I'm dead. I couldn't recover my oh, healing I'm dead. in time. To, uh, I couldn't recover my healing <coughs> in time. Uh. Well, that first group we blew up <coughs> in this area respawned. And was close enough to the battle that uh, they got sucked in. So we were fighting uh, four destroy bots and two annihilators. And that's not very nice. We'd be dead. Well, if we take that corner one out that we've started with, yeah. and slowly beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Oh, of course the sniper's going to be back. Here's a nightmare, nightmare colossus. Yeah, I was talking about that last time. Million hit points. I know, they're huge.
Let me just share that. I was just thinking commentary wise. What what happens when a, a city council defies state law? Who punishes it? It usually gets its uh, state supreme court. No, but I'm just thinking like they should arrest them. But then they can't arrest them. But then it's like yeah, until you take it someone someone's gotta file a court challenge and then it's like, well, no, you can't do that. You can't implement it. You, can't, you're not, you shouldn't be allowed to implement it because it's illegal. Yes, and I think they should be arrested because they were told by their own investigative people that they were not going to be able to keep it. It's against the law. I know, but they want Unfortunately, to do it on purpose because we don't like the law. We want it to change. So, yeah, why don't you just go well, ahead and tell them you can always pass them in when we um, go do a constitutional amendment or you can do, uh, I don't know, what do I do? Well, the problem is our state Supreme Court just said that one of the laws about digging know, uh, a well on your own property it is, yes, is too old. Yes. Why is any law doesn't get, there's no, you know, uh, best served date on you go and kill the law. Change the law. Uh, laws? Yeah. Right I know, that's, that's the thing. Like, oh, no, no, they don't. We think we have a good chance because both our, our Attorney General and the Extreme Court seem to be stuck in our favor, so let's go for this. That's the part where he said, you, uh, you promised to protect, honor, and defend the Constitution of Washington. Yes. Simply, I don't like it. Alright, we have to 24 and 4. Oh, that's another group we got. So let's go back up to this group. Yeah, you're right. In this corner. Because the last time we fought the next group in a row. Well, you know, uh, what's her name? The, uh, the socialist on the, uh, city council of Seattle wanted to take over, uh, Boeing and have the workers need to take over Boeing and, uh, start building buses. Yes. There are companies that make buses. Buses are better than... 29 and 5. Okay, how many more we got? Well, One more grouping and we'll we'll have it. Is, is, you know, this whole thing in Seattle is the fact that they are taxing a single person who makes more than a quarter million and a family makes a uh, half million. And that's not even rich. I know people are like, well, that's so rich, I thought I'm yeah. like, yeah, but you know how many business owners make the kind of money and are not really living as rich as you think they are? Well, my question is, why do they think that these rich people are going to stay in yeah, Seattle when they all of a sudden have to pay? I would leave Seattle. Oh, some of my guys are dead. Or your guys. So I left the part where they, you know, yeah, so you dub was, was you dub did a commission or study on $15 hour wage and fast missions. Oh, I'm getting close to dying. No, healing, all I'm doing is healing you. Damn. Oh, I'm running out of, that's probably running out of power. I'll take out one of these guys. If I die, I die. I just was kind of surprised I was getting so close to dying. I hadn't noticed. So we're done with all that quest, by the way. Let's come in here. Uh, what's the next one over here? Oh, I got targeted. Crap. Snipers. Of course you're going to get targeted. I'm dead. <laughs> I 
shouldn't have gone up in the air. Uh, okay, anyways, next quest. Next quest is going to be gone fishing. Take over your area, stay where you're at. Man, then I. I want to turn this thing in before I. Uh, okay, well. You can come back then. Resummon a bunch of people. Coming back here first? Oh! Huh. That's interesting. The uh, Shadow Sniper that I'm beating on isn't doing anything to me. Can't come in your way. Okay, let me summon my peoples. Defeat Carcadons <laughs> and Sawtooths. Oh gosh, really? I know where they are. I saw someone, I was lying dead here earlier. And in the middle of this complex. Well, it also gets me that the Seattle City Council is like. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend Seattle money, cause uh, taxpayer money, to fight a lawsuit or to have a lawsuit. It's like, oh my gosh! I like one of the things they're planning on with the money is to actually hire people to actually do income taxes. I'm like, oh my gosh! Stand up yourself your own IRS, more employees. Oh no, you're. In... Oh no, you dad. Oh, I'm dead. Why don't you wait? Here. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, but it's gonna be hard to do. Why? See where I'm laying? Yeah, I see the fucker down over there. Don't get too close. Up in the air. Oh. How about it? Between me and the gate is a squad of robots. Over to the side of that is a squad of robots. Up the from there is a squad of robots of the guys that we're fighting. I'm right next to. There's a tank here also. And there's a tank rolling by. I want to take out. That your guys just attacked. Yeah, it's easy. There you go, see so gone. Tank got blown up quick, but did, right yeah. in front of me is the bad guys. Oh crap, they're attacking those guys too, huh? Yes. Oh, and they've just launched into an attack of them. And you got two spears in you before I left. Tank is not that hard to destroy. Almost ten o'clock. And have you noticed? At least I've noticed. You're not talking gargly anymore. That's if you can hear me. I do. Alright. Take those eyes out. That wasn't too hard to take out. Oh, you took out the shark guys? Yeah. It wasn't that okay. difficult in my opinion, but then and you may have been unprepared. Well, I was also attacked by the robot guys. That's why I was trying oh. to give you a watch out. Did you get credit for it? Five crocodiles uh, and one sawtooth. No, I got, I got one crocodile and zero sawtooth. Okay. I was all the way back to the main command post. Oh, I don't have one. Take some out for. Returning or are you? Uh, no. I saw another group. Still hanging out there. Can't see if you're moving or not. I'm another group. I'm going to throw the hammerhead and I wonder if you took out some before I came along. That's why it was so easy for me. I took out one, and I took out some of the robots that jumped me, but I died pretty quick. I don't think I took out much. Wait, there's these portals shut down also. Oh. 
take over there. I want these black geysers, these vents. Oh, crud. Just landed in a group of robots. Oh. Oh, my goodness. The mega, dest mega destroyer, ah, destroyers are one hundred and twenty. That work? Eight thousand seven hundred. You raised you or not? Two of them that I just landed on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to raise you. Oh. I went too far. You have to get them much closer if you're going to try to raise me. find yourself getting a big guy coming at you. Oh my gosh, how close I gotta get? I don't think you're close enough. I am very close to you. This from the dead has got a very short range. Oh my gosh. A five foot circle around you. And I'm immediately shot. I'm what dead. The heck? <laughs> Dude, what did you? I stood up and they attacked me. I told you, I'm too close uh, to the I'm enemy. Flying away, I leave my pets behind. Sorry, guys. Love you guys, but I'm heading out. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the base. I'm gonna turn in uh, whatever it is I have. Return of the Imperium. I, uh, I survived. I went, to, I went to the vent again. The vent is in the middle of two of these groups, okay? Yep. Yeah. That's what I was trying to land on. But I missed my, uh, by a long shot. my measurement How and landed on the bad guys. How someone gets, how someone does that. Oh, and I have no stars left. <laughs> Uh. How did you overshoot this? I mean, it's like it's your hand on the keyboard. What? It's your hand on the keyboard. My hand you, on the keyboard. Yeah, how do you overshoot? I, mean, I see like someone flying in. They oh crap! I didn't turn the engines off in time, and therefore I'm overshot the runway. How do you overshoot to shoot the vent before you land? Because where I thought I was, I was a little bit further, and I landed on the robot group. Right. Seem to be taking this a whole lot ser more serious than I am. Who is? I'm saying more serious than me? Serioso. <laughs> Something's ruffling my cat up. There's a video I saw on. Jimmy Kimmel had Kit Harrington. He plays uh, uh, John Stark on um, Game of Thrones. In oh, my cat doesn't. Huh? Oh, you're talking to somebody else. I'm talking to you. You've seen Game of Thrones, right? Jon Snow. The actor who plays Jon Snow. Are you there? I'm here. Responding. Are you there? You're not responding, that's why. I question if you really hear me or not. I thought I was here. You don't seem to be responding.
Do you hear me or not? Norman, do you hear me? Dan, do you hear me? Are you repeating me or are you actually hearing me? Oh, that time I heard you. You heard me. I said... Oh Good. I have no idea what the Stark conversation was about. No, Jon Snow. I mean, uh, Jimmy Kimmel had Kit Harrington, the actor who plays Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Well, they showed him doing um, screen tests for other roles <laughs> on the oh. show. Like Cersei Lannister and Arya Stark and you know others, you know. It was funny. funny. Prime Day is almost over. What's left? What's left to uh to get? What deals did I miss that I that I could have gotten? Are we supposed to squeeze this fountain off? Oh, oh you are. No, I don't think so. I tried already. There's, there's some kind of fishy thing over there. Oh. Great white. Yeah. Caught tooth put, though. More car car over there. So yeah. go ahead. Talk to him. I got your back. Are you over there now? Well, I'm gonna shoot the the guy who's got a name above his head. It's called Sawtooth. Okay. It's not good. The other guys right. harpooned me. Harpooned me too. Certain groups actually attack medics first. So, we now have so are these guys in front of us? They have different. I know they are Kakarian, so. That's why I was thinking to take them out. Fine. Got harpoons in me and great white biting on me. Somebody keeps throwing All right. some kind of 20 and 25. net around me. This is here. Greed. This box over here. Shadow Destroyer's message. Discovered lore. What's that? Lore. Good lore. Huh. Right, what's next? It's cool. Here's Sawtooth. I wonder if they respawn. Right here. So, yeah. how many more guys? We got 16. We got a bunch more Sawtooths no, to get. There's a Sawtooth there. More Sawtooth. And five more. Okay. 
so. Uh, okay. Two more Boat, somebody uh, shooting at us? I'm done. Gone fishing. <sighs> what do you need left? Hmm? What do you need? But the sawtooth only shows up in that one group. Sucks. Hammerhead. I'm sure it's elsewhere, need? but we're staying around here just to be safe. Oh crap. Personal targeting. Jeez. They look a lot alike. I wish they would quit lassoing me. The saber tooth is our sawtooth is there. That's the last guy I need. You dirty! There's some guy with a harpoon who keeps grabbing me. It's right when I've almost charged up to fire a fireball at the. The saber tooth or sawtooth. Are you finished? Any quest? Okay. That's everything we need? Yes. Nope. One more thing in this area. Looks like we now need this one. Shut down the west portal, central portal, and east portal. See them? The little circles, big circles. Red circle. The, the blue now. Oh, somebody got targeted. I'm flying toward the target. There you are. Now watch out for the snipers. Saw a helicopter go by. Where'd you go? I'm gonna be dead. Yeah, my target range. Haven't. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, on my target. Did you move forward? I got sucked forward by somebody. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Ten, ten. You need to go to bed. You have done well. We're gonna finish this one more quest. Yeah, yeah. Just close two portals. Park and Abbey. Who else do I need to go to to? That's a different thing. Okay. So, next Tuesday, off the fun. What? Fish or something. Oh, what? shutting down the portals. What? What are you saying? <sighs> Hello? Hello? What are you saying? What? The next are Tuesday, we. Next Tuesday, we shut down the portals. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, I heard you. All right, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and post it. If you have any comments, last question, post it. 
love to hear from you and thank you for watching this and take care of yourself and god bless you and streaming out